day 11 and it's the first time there wasn't a bus waiting for us. So there must have been like a backup with the buses because two came at the exact same time. So once we sat on hours, it left when normally it waits for a little bit. So that's the first time though that we've ever had to wait for a bus, which is very good because we're on day 11. So. So we are back at Universal, and I think we're gonna head into studios. What? The crabs are out. The crabs are out? That's a shrimp. That's Bubba Gum shrimp. Wave hi. Wave hi to him. Now, this morning was not a fun time. Today I was like, oh, I'm gonna sleep in a little bit. Relax because we're gonna go to Disney like on the later side today. So I was like, I'm gonna take it easy, sleep in, and at seven in the morning, the pool, which we have pool view, was blasting their music. So loud. Like we always hear the music and it's like so annoying because it's like just beat you here. So we're right next to the pool. But this time it was at seven in the morning. So I, email, I messaged Universal on on Twitter, and I was like, yeah, when did you start your music? Because it started at 7 a.m. And they're like, oh, we start at 8 a.m. I'll let the front desk know. But even 8 a.m. I think is still early. If you're sleeping, 7 a.m. was not a fun time. So I woke up angry today. But we forgot to stop at the front desk to say something because they told me on the Twitter that they would say something, but I still wanted to make it known, like, Please stop doing that. It's been the past few days. I don't know why. But heading into the parks now. Oh my god. It's okay. We're not going to fall. Look what you did to him. Look what you did. Oh, oh. oh. Poor Look, he's tired. Don't him tired. Oh, his back. Oh. So we are in Jimmy Fallon, and once again, there's no wait. Our color was called immediately, but we want to hang out. We saw hashtag Bradley's playing. Bradley's playing some games and just want to take it all in. These games aren't working as good as when it first opened. A lot of the spots, like if you touch it, it doesn't, like we were playing the match game and if you touch it, it won't flip over. It's really hard to drag him around, so I think it needs some updating. I think too many people probably were banging on it and it like messed up the games. Race through New York City, you're gonna see it all. You're gonna see Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building. Time for lunch at Krusty Burger. So they changed how they did the food here. Now you wait on this line like you always did, but then you used to order food and then go pay. But now you wait on this line, they send you to a cashier, you pay for your food, and then you wait for your number to be called. So I guess it's good because if you had multiple families that wanted different things, you had to stand at like the Frying Dutchman, Chicken Shack, the Krusty Burger was all different lines. Now they kind of put it all together for you. So it's good for that aspect. Got my usual heat lamp dog. Mom and Chris got the fresh coconut. Oh, coconut shrimp. That is a big shrimp. Got it with taters. They accidentally gave Chris a tater, so they gave an extra thing of fries. And Bradley got yogurt. Yogurt. Just finished lunch, and mine was really, 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 really gross. It tasted like cold bologna. And it's because of their system here, they set mine, like literally right as we paid, I saw them put mine out. But the coconut shrimp for mom was still being cooked, so we had to wait like 10 minutes for it. So mine got cold and gross. Cold hot dog is not a fun time, so I didn't eat it. The fries were good. Mom and Kristen's shrimp were gigantic, so I guess that's good. Look at this. Look that's at gigantic. It's really big. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so it's a, it was a lot for them. Not, oh, it was really big, Bradley said. So the system didn't work very well because either make sure that all the food is ready before you start plating or like wait for the shrimp to be done because mine was cold and gross and a waste of money. And you can't even get the drinks there. You have to then go to another place to pick up the drinks and then you have to wait another line for the drinks. I guess if you know that you could be doing that while you're waiting for your food. It was just complicated because like a lot of the people here don't speak English so they were having a really hard time figuring out the numbers so yeah didn't like the system. I like the old system. It used to get chaotic but as long as I held the people back on the main line I feel like it shouldn't have been chaotic because like you let a few amount of people in at a time. So I didn't, I didn't like this. My food was real gross and I'm really mad. But I didn't eat it because I'm not wasting calories. Like it literally tasted like bologna. Bradley, how is your yogurt? Wait, what are you yogurt? Yeah. Squirrels. This squirrel tagged on her foot. Look, he just wants to eat. He went right to her. Come Wait, here. come back. Where'd he go? He's underneath. Ran right over to her. Oh, he don't like those. Oh, you don't like this one? Because it's honey nut Cheerios. He wants to go. Walmart. It's Walmart brand, that's why. He don't like honey nut Cheerios. No. No, Bradley's feeding the ducks. Probably don't scare him. Not all squirrels are just Look at him. Friendly. He's a magical squirrel. He jumped right on this lady's lap. He's gonna take a drink. Oh. <laughs> he went on her lap. No way. Don't scare him, huh? No way. Bradley, don't scare him. <laughs> oh, usually the dancers are fun. Bart was just lying on the floor. It was a hot day for him. Oh, pops back up. Scooby and Shaggy, I guess they're trying to get a taxi to the city. <laughs> the Universal Monsters are looking awesome in the store. SpongeBob is out front trying to get some popcorn. Look at SpongeBob just chilling at the exit. Oh, SpongeBob! It's your favorite. Okay. Here, I'll hold this. I'll hold this. Whoa! Uh, all right, buddy, look at me. Yeah, awesome. Give my child a high five. Woohoo! Thanks, Thanks SpongeBob. Bye. And just like that, another day has come to an end. We went to studio today and did a few things. It was a very relaxing day. We kind of crashed. We came back for our mid-afternoon break. We were supposed to go to Epcot tonight, but we were all exhausted, so that didn't happen. So we all woke up from naps and decided just to take it easy, and we went to a local cheesecake factory. Uh, it was in a very nice area, super nice mall. Had lots of lots of restaurants. We've never been on that side of Orlando before, and it was really nice. A lot, tons of restaurants and good ones. The mall was absolutely beautiful. There was a super Target, all really close. So next time, if we stay in this area, like the Target was empty and not crazy like the Walmart always is, because the Walmart is like where all the tourists go. Like you are fighting like to get down aisles like this wasn't like that so 
might go to that Target if we stay over here next time. But yeah, it was a good day. Relaxing. Tomorrow, I think Kristen, me and Bradley are gonna head into Universal for the morning, come back, and then I think Magic Kingdom is on the plan for tomorrow night, depending how we all feel. But with that, I say good night, everyone.